That's your, you are now live also, sir. Hello. Give her the huge show for the big game. Come on, stand up here for me, guys. So, uh, they, they, <laughs> we've got to try and keep them lively for you to come. I understand you're in the toilet. I was, yeah. Everyone has to go. You're right. It's true. She knows about it. So, we've got masses of fans here waiting for you. I'm going to talk to you both. Dave's here also, of course, to talk to you. Um, let's start with you, Craig. Yeah. Um, some people don't know him. Ex-professional footballer, Tramit Rovers. That is not true! Why did they... Honestly, oh, I, 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 had to, I had to get, get it taken off my website. Um, off the BBC website. Someone's written on stage that I was a professional footballer, but it's not true. No? I, I, was, I was a decent amateur. But, you know, play for Liverpool boys and stuff like that, but never played in the professional league. It's still pretty impressive, nonetheless. He gets tired of going up the stairs. Yes, the leg! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, obviously, both of you have just appeared on Dave, um, reincarnating roles that um, have made you partially famous. Obviously, there's more than just uh, Red Dwarf. Uh, how's it feel to be back in the Red Dwarf limelight? Really enjoyed it, actually. Yeah. 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 I forgot how much I've missed those guys, you know. It was 21 years since we did the first one, so it was a great thing to go back and do. We didn't want it to be crap, did we? We wanted it to be quite good, so it was like one of those things where you were really worried that, you know, you, you got it right. But I think we did. Yes, it usually had about 200,000 viewers, and uh, we got 3 million. <laughs> it was three specials, yeah, for Dave. What, yeah. Why did you pick Dave? Um, well, Dave picked us, actually. Oh, right. It was like... Um, uh, the BBC didn't seem to be that bothered with it, did they? Yeah, because they were meant to be putting money into the film and then they yeah, pulled so up. Because they're in a bit of trouble now, you see, these TV companies. But, so. but Dave came up and said, look, here's a lot of money. Not that much, by the way. But, yeah. <laughs> here's enough to make it without paying yourself anything. Uh -huh. um, and that's what we did. So you've done three. Is there, there going to be more? I don't know, because I'm doing Coronation Street and I'm, I've, I've just signed for three years on that, so... But you've got time for Red Dwarf, don't you? You must have time. Yeah, if, if, if they can get together and say, yeah, you can get, have a, a couple of months off here, then I'd love to do it, yeah, I would. Would you like to see another series of Red Dwarf? Yeah! yeah. And hey, Coronation Street. No! <laughs> Coronation Street, going from strength to strength. You've, how, how long have you been in there now? It's over four years. Really? It's just flown like that. And it's an amazing, I mean, the storyline's just lately just been fantastic, haven't they? Yeah, it's, 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 it's my favourite TV show in the, in the whole world, you know. That's why when they said to me, do you want to do it? I didn't even say how much, I mean, yeah, I'd love to do it. Because it's just, it's Coronation Street, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and, and how is Liz? She's, um, she's not well at the moment. She's, <laughs> she's been off sick for a while. She's uh, recuperating in Spain, but she'll be back at the end of the month. And I'm um, looking forward to getting on. And if you're wedding bells coming up? Leave me alone. Dave, uh, I'm, I'm coming in as a fitness trainer. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to deflect it back to Danny. Danny, um, Starlight Express, original cast member. Yes, 19, 1984. I was 19, Starlight Express. And a very well known hip hop DJ in the 80s. That's right, yeah. I've um, done my homework here a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to DJ long. In fact, some, someone's actually trying to get me to do a gig here. DJ. You feeling it? Yeah. I would, I've still got the same turntables. <laughs> The question a lot of people have got the same haircut. <laughs> Hang on, at least he's got hair. Lucky him. Uh, <laughs> the big question though, a lot of people have asked me and asked me today is, your character cat in uh, Red Wall. Where, where did that come from? Because it's, it's crazy. It's something that I don't, can't even describe a character like that. Yeah, well, I just saw, you know, when I'm ready, it just sounded like it's sort of James Brown and Prince. Uh, Little Richard, little Richard. I, I know you're going to hate me for this. Can we hear the? Uh, there it is! Yeah. Yeah, got the loose. Yeah. I know, I know it's cheesy, but you've got to bring it down. You've got to, this is the good stuff to do. On the, the gravel, the gravel. I see run on stuff like this in school. But you're also a children's TV presenter right now, correct? Uh, yeah, I've been a uh, uh, story maker. Uh, story maker. I watched it. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen that also. I was on yesterday. Um, and what's on, what's on the cards? What's on the cards from now on? Obviously, I'm, I'm assuming you probably want to do Red Wolf. Continue it. Yeah, I, I, I want to get back on stage actually and do a musical because that's where I come from, musical theatre. And and so I want, I want to get back and do a show on Golden Boy. And is it going to happen? Yeah, 